my fucking off. Oh my god. I need to pay attention. shower last night. We've gone flat. My hair's getting long. I like it. I've tried three intros on this thing on this video and every single time I got interrupted. The first time my furnace kicked on, the second time a train was honking obnoxiously, and the last time words just weren't coming out right. So I'm just gonna make coffee while I talk to you. So today is a special day because I get to go to a concert. It's my outlet, I'm super stoked. I'm going to a concert called From Ashes to New, if none of you guys have heard of that. And yeah, I'm just thrilled. I'm thrilled to get out of the house because I don't really ever leave and I actually look like a girl. If you watched last week's vlog, you saw that I was dyeing my hair and it actually turned out pretty good. It's pretty. The ADHD is not keeping up with me. So yeah, I get to go to a concert tonight and then tomorrow I took the day off because the company that I work for wanted me to use up my PTO by the end of the year. So I was like, you know what? Why not have another mental health day because it's awesome. So I had an early out today and then I have the day off tomorrow and I'm probably not like, I have the day off my nine to five, but I'm probably gonna edit the engagement photos that I took last weekend. I'm really excited to start those for Caitlin and Travis. So cha. I get to go sing my little heart strings out. I probably have to leave in like, I don't know, 30 to 45-ish minutes. It's gonna take me like an hour and a half to get there from my house, but I couldn't decide what to wear because all my cute clothes are like summer clothes, like my crop tops, and I'm like, it's 20 some degrees out in Minnesota. I am not gonna wear a crop top. So I put on this shirt and I still have my sweatpants on because this is TMI, but it's that, about that time of the month and uh, my Aunt Flo is gonna pay me a visit any day now and my stomach like with all of my issues with like endometriosis and PCOS, I just don't want anything touching my stomach so I'm gonna put pants on before I leave. Yay, yay. So if any of you ladies want to hack and you want to wear cute clothes, don't change until you have to leave like right that second. That's like one or two less hours that you actually have to wear pants. <laughs> It's not because we're lazy, it's because the bloating is uncomfortable. I know it doesn't look like it, but I can like feel the inflammation. Good times, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, to be quite honest with you, I have no freaking idea what I'm gonna do tomorrow. So we're just gonna go on a whim and this is gonna be a super random vlogging video. I have my, I forgot to show you guys, I have this necklace on. This is stainless steel. These are available on my website and I just think they're super dope. They have like uh, daggers and crosses and locks and like, Ugh, yeah, let's do this. Fit check. Can't really see, I'm such a giant. Point the camera down here. I got my trip pants on, my Doc Martens. So if anyone tries to mess with me, I'll just kick them in the ass. Yeah, I just love them, they're so cute. Like, they have these little straps on them. I was gonna wear another pair that just crisscrossed in the back, but they were a little bit too tight on my stomach. But these ones are perfect. We're all good to go. I'm 
parked and I don't want to get out of my car. It looks cold out there. <laughs> I'm excited though. even hear myself they're ringing ring a ding ding and it's not the christmas bells that was seriously the best show ever oh my god i'm happy i did that Yay! i have tomorrow off let's get it you know what's wild is how when you get older and the stronger stuff tastes better 
Like stronger cheese, stronger coffee. Stronger tolerance to BS. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about that. It's like 11.30. I'll have the day off of work tomorrow, but... I gotta get up early. And food hits different when you're hungry. Anyway, what I was saying... <clears throat> Excuse me. In the morning, I have to go to the meat locker and pick up. I ordered a quarter of a beef. My dad knows a farmer, and that's like what I do like once a year. I'll order a quarter of a cow, and then I'll have roasts and steaks and hamburger and ribs and stuff for like the entire year. So I get to go spend my money tomorrow on that. Which in all reality, it's a lot cheaper than buying it from the store. And it's probably a lot healthier than buying all that processed crap. But I am so happy I went to that concert tonight. It was awesome. I, I needed that so bad. I've been working and working and working and I just had no money. That's what I felt like anyway. I don't know, I've kind of been like isolated in this tiny little house even though like last weekend I did the art show and then I met Crystal and like I've been meeting people but like during the week I'm home because I work from home from my like my regular job, my nine to five. And then I stay home and create art and I'm like on this huge grind to like carving a different path and making a different life for myself. And I found that I was so focused on my goals that I needed something fun planned to balance life a little bit, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And it was nice to just go exist with humanity and be around people who love the same kind of music as me and, you know, dream of being on stage one day. I haven't said a lot about that, but I think it's gonna happen. I'm gonna start up my music YouTube soon. I bought a microphone that's been sitting in the box for way too long. Um, I ordered the Rode NT1A, I think it's called. And so that's been in the box for like a couple weeks. I've been so busy, I haven't had time to open it. So like, I'm sitting here trying to think like, where am I gonna find time? Where am I gonna utilize my resources and shift my priorities where I can find the time to create music? Yeah, I just... I want to write stuff and I want to make an impact in people's lives and it honestly wouldn't shock me if I end up on stage one day. I got work to do but <laughs> hard work isn't a problem for me. But anyway, I got this awesome shirt. Look at it. Wah! And then the sleeve. To be quite honest with you, I'm a sucker for the merch table and I told myself I wasn't gonna buy myself anything today and I was like... I like that though. And it supports the band. It's like how they make their living, you know? So I got this one. This band is called The World Alive. They were touring with From Ashes to New as well. And this shirt's pretty cool. I like the back though because it says, I'd rather die for what I believe than a life... Wait, hold on. I'm trying to read this upside down. I'd rather die for what I believe in than live a life without meaning. And I was like, that is so fitting. So I got myself a t-shirt. I have way too many black t-shirts, but it's fine, I added it to the collection. And then this hoodie is dope. Um, there was also another artist called Echo there and he sounded so familiar. I didn't even know he was gonna be touring with them guys. And damn, that guy can rap. He's like a young Eminem. The guy's, he just, he knows what he's doing. I like his stuff. And little did I know I've listened to him before because he has a song with Low Spirit. And I was like, what? So I like connected the dots. I don't know if you guys know who it, I'm even talking about, but yeah. And then there was another band there called, shit, I don't remember. It was the third one. Yeah, there were a lot of bands. It was a it was a fun time. But I'm gonna eat my cheese and T T Y L chat with you guys in the morning.